Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Unless you've been living under a rock for the past couple weeks, then you probably know that the big story astronomy-wise right now is uh, Comet Neowise, C2020F3, which has been putting on one hell of a show since it came around the sun not too long ago. It's visible in both the morning and the evening skies, although it will start making a transition to be uh, better observable in the evening skies. Uh, and I had a chance to take a look at it myself um, a few nights ago, or early in the morning, and it was absolutely beautiful. And um, probably the first naked eye comet that I've seen since Comet Hellbop, which uh, was a little while ago. Uh, and it's been nice, especially since uh, Comet Swan and Comet Atlas both kind of fizzled out. Neowise has really uh, kind of exceeded expectations and has really blossomed into this beautiful uh, naked eye comet. So let's take a look at Stellarium and see um, what the comet's doing and when the best time to see it. All right, well, so we're here in Stellarium um, at my current uh, location. And this is about uh, a little after 4 a.m. in the morning. You can see that Neowise is right above the horizon. And as we fast forward through time, you can see it rising along with uh, dawn as the sun rises with it. So the viewing window is uh, kind of short before the sun comes up, probably a good hour and a half before the sky gets really bright. And the story is the same for about the evening sky as well, but uh, conditions for evening viewing is gonna be a lot better. And so we're gonna switch over to what the comet does in the evening hours and show you what's gonna be happening with that. All right, so here we are in the evening hours uh, for today, and you can see as the sun starts to set, Neowise will be kind of low on the horizon as well. So we'll get a short chance to take a good look at it um, as the sun goes down and the sky starts to darken up a little bit. You can see it start to really kind of pop out there. Uh, so right now, I think that the best time to view is probably still gonna be morning hours, or at least from my latitude. Um, your mileage may vary depending on where you are, but uh, certainly over the course of the next few days, the best time to view it is most definitely gonna be during the evening hours as uh, NeoI starts to separate from the sun. You will see it uh, as we show here, as we advance time, it's gonna get higher and higher and higher in the sky over the course of the next uh, week or so. You can see here, right around sunset, comet's still very high up in the sky, so. Definitely gonna be a much better um, viewing opportunity to see it in the evening where it will be in darker skies and uh, up for a much longer period of time before it sets. Now the brightness of this comet is currently around, well, it's around magnitude 1.5 to magnitude two. The brightness estimates that I've seen have kind of varied a little bit. Um, it, as Neowise gets further and further away from the sun, you can expect it to uh, lose a bit of its brightness. It's gonna fade a little bit. Uh, but it should stay uh, within the naked eye uh, realm for quite some time, at least for the next week or two. Um, and plus, as it gets higher and higher into the evening sky after the sun sets, it's going to be positioned in much darker skies, which should make it easier to spot. So um, get out and take a look at it while you can. Um, honestly, you know, comets are very fickle creatures and they, they do whatever they want. So there's no telling how long uh, Neo eyes will stay at this current level of brightness. So get out there and see it uh, as soon as you can. Enjoy it while it lasts. So that's pretty much it for this video. Just a quick update on the comet. Um, I'm gonna have some pictures of the uh, comet when I went out and saw it uh, about a week ago. And as it transitions into the evening sky, I'll definitely be getting my telescope outside and we're gonna train the scope on this target and take a look at it, uh, take some images and see how she looks. Um, as it moves further and further up into the evening sky. So, all right, guys, take care of yourselves and enjoy that comment, and I will see you in the next one.